Hello and welcome to episode 8 of our Timberborn Update 5 Folktales playthrough here in hard mode. And you might notice the game is still paused. There's a very good reason for that, and that's because the game got an update that broke almost everything that I've been looking forward to fixing here. So we're not going to unpause quite yet. I'll, I'll show you exactly why in just a second. But um, you might notice the ladders are gone here and uh, also here. So we're going to have to fix that. And uh, there's going to be some irrigation related, uh, shall we say, problems here in a second. So l let me let me explain what's going on here. So we got a patch this morning, a couple hours ago as of recording this. And uh, I woke up to a notification in my Discord telling me that something was wrong. I won't tell you exactly exactly what until we get there. But let's go through let's go through these patch notes. There's, there's some cool stuff. There's some stuff that made me actually kind of irritated. But uh, we'll we'll get through this first. Attractions, new exciting stuff. The folktales get a dance hall, which is a a new uh, well-being building unlocked. 1200 science, pretty cool. Uh, people saw the dance animation. In the game um, a couple days ago, I think I remember seeing online, people were asking, hey, what's this for? Well, now we know what it's for. Uh, Iron Teeth are getting something called a, I guess it's called a motivatorium, would be how you pronounce that. Uh, we'll see what that, what that's about in our other playthrough when we get that one back up and running. But uh, it seems a little bit like uh, indoctrination to me. But moving on. The the big thing that everyone has been talking about all morning in the Timberboard Discord and online and everywhere else, irrigation has been completely changed. So our beloved water dumps on the levees trick has been officially, well, what's the most family-friendly word for this? Um, I guess you can make one up yourself, but... Yeah, uh, you, you can see the, the screenshot that they provided in the uh, the patch notes. It's It's not looking good. <laughs> not looking good for us. We're, we're going to be really, really suffering with this, so we'll figure out how to solve our problems now that we have almost no water, and almost all of our trees are going to die because they don't have any, so that's fun. Um, but just to, just to kind of recap what seems to be happening here is it seems to base the amount of irrigation it gives surrounding tiles on the number of faces of water uh, adjacent tiles touch. Like, you, you can see the water dump on the levees has absolutely no irrigation except for the, the, like, I don't know, three tiles right next to where the water is. The water dump in the ground, just a one-by-one one hole, only irrigates the immediately surrounding tiles. Uh, a three-by-one hole seems to irrigate a little bit more, and then uh, maybe it's a five-by-five five up on the right side of that image. I can't really quite tell, but that seems to be pretty much what the existing one-by-ones in this playthrough we're already doing. So we'll see what happens. The, the big thing that this is going to present challenges with is the amount of water consumed. Because a one by one by one cube of water takes however many days, twenty about 20-ish days to evaporate. I, I've never been able to get the math exactly right because of course, but uh, that is no longer going to be viable. We're going to have to have, to get the same amount of coverage, either five by fives, or a bunch of trenches that are not going to irrigate nearly as much. So we'll see what happens. I, I predict we're going to get an, an incredible water crisis and have a bunch of beavers die off uh, in this episode. But we'll see. We haven't unpaused yet. But cool things they've added. Again, uh, the seasons get a new announcement banner that kind of reminds me of what in those fighting games when you have the, the KO thing comes up. So that's cool. We're, we're going to look forward to seeing that. That's a nice change. Uh, and then one of the things I'm most excited for, building flipping is now in the vanilla game, which is going to be an absolute game changer. I really, really loved the building flipper mod uh, that I used in a couple of previous playthroughs, but it, it didn't work with any other modded buildings. So to have the ability to be able to flip these things is going to be really, really great, and I'm, I'm genuinely excited for that. So we, we, we can be happy about that change at least. And then, uh, once again, the color of the extract has changed. It is green. Uh, it was orange, and then before that it was like a red, and then before that it was like a different shade of green. So I don't, I don't know why they keep changing the color, but no, the green's kind of cool. And now there's a couple of different changes with uh, sounds and different things. And I think the temple now consumes extract, so I guess the beavers are using it for some sort of a weird weird ritual type thing. We'll see what happens uh, with that when we get around to building one of those. But I don't need to go through the rest of the changes in detail. I just uh, needed to make sure we're all on the same page before we unpause and see exactly what happens with all of our uh, all of our water dumps. So, that being said, let's, um, 
let's let's take quick stock of what's going on here. So we have this guy right here, this guy right here, and this guy right here irrigating this entire area, as well as our little hidey holes right here. Um, and then up here we have this. We have a, a hidey hole right here. We have this guy. We have this guy buried way back here, and then we have these on the corner. So. Uh, those of you who said, hey, you, you should probably get rid of this. Uh, this really isn't serving much of a purpose. Well, now you're actually correct. And these are going to be completely worthless. We're going to get rid of them. Don't worry. That problem will be solved. But it's going to be interesting trying to figure out how to irrigate the rest of these crops. Not to mention we can't access most of our houses because the, the ladders are broken. So we'll get on with that. Uh, you can see the extract is green here. And a couple of you made comments about the... Uh, the windmills and stuff here being silly billy bait. Well, I mean, nobody's gotten stuck yet, and all the shafts are built, so I, I think we're going to be okay. I don't think there's going to be any problems there. But now, now the fun is truly going to begin, because we get to watch in real time just how badly this is going to screw us over here. So, let's unpause. And we should see this shrink. Yep, see, there it goes. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Love it when it completely destroys everything we've already done. Okay, so this is fundamentally useless now, uh, as is this guy and this guy, and regrettably this as well. So, uh, the water is going to come back down here. It's not going to be that big of a deal, but the problem now is this is almost completely, completely unusable. So we're going to have to turn... Oh, man, we're going to have to blow so much of this up. See, like, look, look at, look at, come on, man, really? Like, I, mm. you guys get on to me when I complain too much, but I feel like this is an actual valid complaint to just completely change the fundamental aspect of this with absolutely no warning. It's experimental, it happens, you agree? Okay, yeah, fine, whatever. But, well, what else, what else can I do, right? Anyway, so I'm glad most of the wheat's not going to die. About half of the potatoes aren't going to die. Kohlrabi's are completely, oh, no. These are carrots, because we're in the Folktales faction. That's right. That's what happens when I switch between them so much. But, uh, yeah. These are all pretty much guaranteed to die instantly. We just have to uh, set this guy to harvest. And I'm going to get them to grab all these before they completely go bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, we, we really got to figure something else out. The trees aren't going to die immediately, but the, the berries and the dandelions... Uh, oh, actually... I thought those would have died a lot faster than eight days, seven days. These will last, uh, it's not, 14 days is not two weeks. There's not weeks in the game. They just use cycles. But we've got to figure out something with this, man. I guess, I mean, I guess what we have to do is just expand this thing. I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to get away with because where we put this, there's not really anywhere else to go. I don't know. This is just... Oh, God. All right. Well, you guys like suffering, so you're going to get it. That uh, appears to be how the game wants to work these days. So... Oh, no, we didn't put a dump in here. That's right. I got rid of it because I figured we wouldn't need it because there surely was no way we would ever have to worry about that much water being a problem, right? Well... Uh, oh, oh, this is getting worse. Okay, well that's um, that's nice. All right, triple speed it is. Oh wow. Okay, so all of this, all of this is completely screwed. All right, that's great. Um, not really anything we can do about that. Completely, uh, completely impossible to uh, change any of that right now. All right. Well, now that we understand how pointless this is, let's go ahead and put in uh, double dynamite here. And then I, what I'm going to do is, oh, I can't even reach that. Never mind. Oh, man. I mean, this is still watered, but it's going to be gone soon. All right, so maybe what we do instead is we just uh, get rid of all of this, and then I'll just put a dump right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep this nice and irrigated. That way, that'll give us a 3x3, three three and then another little bit right here. So th that'll at least get some of this taken care of. It is just... This really could not have come at a worse time. 
with us trying to, you know, keep beavers alive and all of that, uh, all that fun stuff. All right, so I'm going to make the executive decision to kill these carrots, get them out of here, and uh, put all this stuff in. Now, mind you, the uh, the whole bit with the uh, uh, the dynamite is that we don't have bad water, which, okay, well, we're, I mean, we're pumping here. And some of this is going to become re-irrigated, but not nearly enough. Actually, this bit right here doesn't really need to have irrigation at all if there's water here. So that seems to be... That seems to be okay. But we are still going to want this to be irrigated uh, when it comes down to it. So that will need to be... Oh, this is so cool. I, see, I, I told you this was going to be nice. So we get a drought in three days. We have 180 water. We have now been thrust into the reality of having to use probably 10 times as much water to irrigate our crops. And yeah, we'll just... We'll just say this has not gone well. <laughs> this, is, this is very quickly turning into something that's not fun. But we'll get it figured out. What what else are we going to do, right? And the uh, whole explosives thing. They are putting the explosives in places I probably do need to have them. But would rather not focus on. So let's, let's get this in. We can at least keep some of this alive. And then uh, this bit right here. Um, I mean, I'm probably going to have to just put another one of these right here. That should be uh, hopefully, hopefully enough. We'll see if I just do this. That's going to take uh, one of these squares out. And I really, really am going to have to have some more back here, but we're not, we're not quite there yet. All right, so that's going to hold a lot more water. That should keep us a little bit more alive for a second here. Yeah, it's just, it's such a shame about this whole thing, because this, this is really going to completely screw us over hard. So I've got to come in here with... Oh, and it's hard mode too, so it's going to be like a 20-day drought. This might actually be a run killer. Might actually be a run killer. We'll see. I guess there's no reason not to just make these into uh, double deeps, just to hold a little bit of water. So what I will do... Yeah, I'm just going to... Because we have the extract. In fact, we have the science to do triples. We, it's, we, can't, we can't afford to mess around anymore. We're, we're going to triple this whole thing. Except this one. Yeah, that... That is what we're dealing with here. We we got to play hardball. Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's gather all this stuff. Right here, right here, and the rest of this. Set that to detonate. There we go. Sorry, I keep pausing, but this is this is really really going to cause us some problems here if we don't uh, get a handle on it. So I want to I want to make sure I'm doing my best to save. The this entire playthrough so we don't have to start all over again. Because that would, um, charitably speaking, not be ideal. So this is here. That's fine. Having this much water stored that deep should be, uh, should be okay. Uh, I'm going to... I mean, it's, it's going to be kind of pointless to have, uh, much of this without it being in a straight line, so why don't we... Yeah, why don't we do that? Uh, this is still the, the biggest priority. I just... Mm, I don't know that they're going to be able to get all of this... Oh, hey, Beans. And Sir Chris Kringle making explosives for us. Please do your best. <laughs> we desperately, desperately need... These explosives to come in here. Oh man, and th this this is why I had been blowing this whole thing up so uh, enthusiastically, shall we say, because we have a mighty need for water. But anyway, let's um, let's get this done, shall we? We have oh, we don't even really have that much extract either because I had this paused. All right, well, guess what? This is now going again. So, oh man, that is 
That is rough. Rough business here. Okay, that's set there. And we still can't get these beavers in to uh, go to sleep because we have to uh, really solve some other problems first. But we'll, we'll get these guys going. We've got 1.1 days till the drought comes. Oh, I, do, I don't know if we're going to survive. It, it could cycle 17. This is going to be a long one. This is going to be a super, super long drought. So we'll see what happens, I suppose. All right. And uh, on the eve of possible disaster, you know what this means. 24-hour workdays. Nobody goes to sleep because we absolutely cannot afford to have any further distractions here. All right. So now we have a big old hole here. Fluid dump goes in. Uh, that needs to get built maybe a little bit faster than this, but um, pumping is pumping is never going to be a bad idea, so they're they're okay to focus on that. That's fine. Now, how are we uh, how are we looking here? Waiting on explosives. Well, we have some explosives. They're working on it. 0.4 days left. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be having a good time here. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right, give me uh Oh, this is only a single deep. Okay, hold on. That's got to be a... Oh, how did I just now forget how to do this? Double deep. Double deep goes in here. Get that accomplished. Um, okay, good. They're putting some of this in. I will go ahead and set that off, so that's connected at the very least. And now we're going to see... Oh, we're thirsty. Drought started. I, like, I love the banners so much. I, as much as I complain when stupid things happen or they make changes that make me mad. Uh, this actually legitimately is a good improvement. Of course, it's gone now, so I can't mouse over it. 23 days. All righty then. Let's, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, we're so screwed. Okay, give me, give me this, give me this one bit of uh, dynamite here. I really, really need to make sure at least some of this gets put in place. All right, that's good to go. And this is also good to go. I hope nobody's in there. All right, good. Fluid dump. Dump your fluids. Let's go. Make it happen. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Okay, so now this is going to be of the utmost priority here. Keep these trees alive. Uh, this this area down here, we're we're gonna um, yeah, it's it's gonna be a work in progress, but we we gotta have some more storage here for water. I predict at the end of twenty three days, uh, it's it's gonna be rough. I don't think it's gonna be a wipe, but it's definitely not gonna be good. Yep, there goes all that water. Um. Oh, man, I'm just... I kind of want this to flood just so we fill everything up. I mean, it's probably going to kill plants anyway, but... I don't know. I, I kind of uh, I kind of feel like that might be okay. All right, so that's closed. All right, come on, come on, water. Come on in here. Fill everything up. Let's go. That can detonate. That's fine. Okay, that's already... Well, that's going to have water in it at least. Okay. Wow, that's pathetic how much that... All right, that's... Uh, deflating. But what else can we do? There is nothing we can do. And the 24-hour work hours are over. Everyone had to sleep on the dirt while they were doing that anyway because they couldn't get into their homes. So... Moving on, let's, um, what's in here? Berries? Not anymore. Let's put some stairs here. And I will just go ahead and put a platform there so we can at least get up here. That hopefully, hopefully will be okay. Yeah, the bad thing about having these water dumps uh, have to basically infinitely increase in size is that it's going to use so much water. Is going to use unthinkable amounts of water. I'm going to go ahead and just completely get rid of this. Um, and our bad water situation is also, well, bad. 
because we didn't have time to put these uh, dams in like I've been wanting to do for a couple episodes. And it's going to be another 21 days before we have any more. So I hope they can make good use of all this stuff. Uh, let's real quick take stock of what we're doing with our, with our bad water. We have extract we're going to need to make triple dynamite. Uh, and we need to make uh, regular dynamite too. Man, I just don't know. We're not using it for anything else, are we? Outside of... Oh, no. Herbalist doesn't use that. Oh, I just, I really don't want to mess this up. What, what are, what are we doing even? Oh, uh, we got bad water here, bad water here. Oh, uh, see, I don't think, well, I know for a fact this, this much that's left here is not going to be enough to take care of the rest of our irrigation needs. Oh man, these, yeah, a lot of these, um, a lot of these chestnut trees are going to die and that's really going to screw us up. So they take 32 days to produce chestnuts from seed. So that is, um, yeah. Okay. Well, at least our food situation seems to be doing kind of okay. I guess I shouldn't really worry about it that much. Like, it's it's going to happen one way or the other. Uh, let's see. Well, hey, a couple of these trees are okay. But I, I wanted to put another set of dams here so I could at least only suck the water out of one part of this and leave this good to go. But yeah, this, this water is going to be gone really quick within the first, I don't know, five or six days. But at least the pine trees and, I don't know, half less than half the maples, excuse me, are going to be okay. Man, that is, that is rough. But at least they can sleep in their own beds now. That's, uh, that's something at least. All right, so what have we learned? We have learned that this is now completely pointless. So that's going to go away. That's going to go away. That's going to go away. And they can come grab those resources. This is also completely pointless. They can come grab that. And come grab that. And we can plant some more potatoes. We're going to leave this open for another large water pump, which I'm kind of reluctant to put in now because it's going to suck up the water so much faster. But, oh yeah, I was going to blow that up to have more uh, more irrigation. See, this, at the very least, the 3x3 three three seems to be the power play here. Uh, we have one more block of height to fill up, and that might irrigate a little bit more this way, but I think, I think we're going to be okay-ish long term. And of course, when this is uh, filled up too, we might get a couple of these trees. Well, nope, that's going to die. Okay. Well. Not really any way to uh, get around that, is there? So that's empty. So, why don't we... If these, if these trees are actually going to die, have we harvested all of the chestnuts? I believe... I mean, I want to say we have, but I can't tell. There's chestnuts in this one. Are there chestnuts in this one? It looks it looks like there's not, based on the uh, geometry of these. Well, what we're going to need to do is create kind of a whole channel back here. So why don't we... Yeah, if we just make this entire thing... I uh, obviously can't go too far but if I did that and also we, we're not going to have enough dynamite to do most of this anyway but just to keep things a little bit uh, a little bit usable here we're going to have to see what's, what's going to work here because I know a one wide trench is not going to irrigate that much but if it's long it might might get to a decent bit of this Maybe just a little bit. If we have a pretty large area here that's also uh, emptied, I guess you know, if I put the dump here and this whole thing is blown up, we might actually might actually stand a chance. We'll see, I suppose. So if I have it too too deep at all times here. By too deep, I mean from the cliff face, not depth. It's probably going to be two or three deep. Um, am I am I doing a fool's errand right now? 
Probably. But uh, we'll see what happens. We got time to play with it for sure. For sure. All right, so that is... Um, that is empty. Let's let's pause this. I I am gonna try and put some water in here. I think that will be okay. Uh, but having this in place there will be good. Now I can I can hear the questions now. Why didn't you put in a swimming pool here? Well, one we have not unlocked the swimming pool wherever it is. Um. Oh, that's a that's an iron teeth thing. Never mind. Why didn't you put a Lido in? Uh, we probably will uh, at some point in the future. We're just not there yet because we, we want to combine compatible uses of everything. But uh, well, hey, you know what? We're already in crisis management mode. Let's um, let's make the most of it. Maybe we'll see. See what happens. Where's the uh, where's the dory to Alito? Is it on the right side? No. Oh, that's not even the right shape. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Maybe this maybe this wasn't my most intelligent idea ever. That's saying something. But we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Where did they put the rest of this explosive? I again. I'm sorry. I keep pausing so much, but I just. Mm. I am, uh, oh, we're out of, we're out of bad water. Okay, that's nice. Is there anywhere else in the map I can go? Oh, okay, it's way over here. Way over here. Ew. Well, this severely puts a damper on our ability to, uh, to do very much, huh? Not only, not only are we out of bad water, we are out of extract and we are out of dynamite but uh, uh well i mean there is there is bad water in these things well nothing we can do about it now we got 19 days of suffering so uh what i am going to do in the interest of accomplishing anything all the, all these trees are going to die uh, there's simply no way I can save these with the amount of dynamite we do not have. Unless we are able to find bad water somewhere, which is not going to be a thing because it's so far on the other side of the map. We literally could not get beavers there if we tried. At least not right now. We are... Mm, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. We are up something creek for sure. What do I even what do I even do for 20 days? Like I, I what 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 can I what can we even do? I I don't even know. I I legitimately don't even know what we can accomplish unless I'm able to get a bad water rig. Um that's going to be a no. <laughs> 400 400 planks 200 um Oh wow, okay. Well, I wonder I wonder is is that going to be is that going to be possible? Cuz these maple trees are going to die. Oh, hey, this is actually irrigating some of these chestnuts. That's nice. I just um Okay, I what I what I don't need is I don't need I don't need these to be Oh, I'm going to have to undo all of this, aren't I? I do not need all of this dynamite to be placed down right now. I need to uh, need to remove th this at all costs. Oh, uh, not the house. Not the house. No, no, no. Let's get rid of that. Oh, are we going to get extract back from this? That's actually good. I guess they had already pre-supplied. Okay, so we might, we might be okay. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe just a tiny bit. Okay, so if that's disconnected, that path... Do we want to reconnect that? I don't think we really need to worry about it. Um, have they supplied all of... Oh, yes. Look at us go. 
Look at look at us. Look at us. We're going to pause this centrifuge immediately. Give me <laughs> give me those nine units of bad water we can use to make actual explosives. Okay. All right. Uh, back to the old grind here. Yeah, we, we can and should recover all of that. Okay, there wasn't anything on those, but still. This, if this has been... Oh, yes, look at us go. We've got extract. Yes, we do. Okay. I gotta be careful here. I'm not even gonna be able to finish this drought in this episode if we, uh, we don't do a time lapse. We might actually end up doing one. Uh, depending on how things pan out. But I think that's all of our unplanted dynamite that we haven't gotten to yet. So, if we're going to have that much extract left over, and this is paused, I've got... Okay, so this is going to make four sticks of dynamite. At least. Could possibly be five, depending on how it chooses to count resources. That's going to make... Another four, possibly five, so we will have either eight or ten units of dynamite. And we're going to have to choose how we're going to use those. Obviously, we're going to want to go triple deep because we have the extract, so we can have the maximum amount of water storage. Uh, we already have a hole here. This one is going to be a little bit harder to, um, harder to make use of. The most impact for having water storage would actually be to get this guy taken care of. So if we get rid of that, I don't think there's any water in here anyway, so get rid of that, get rid of that. Um, three of these in an L shape, I don't really know is going to do very much irrigation wise. I mean, it'll do something. It's really not going to be ideal. So I think what we're going to want to do Okay, I'm going to make the executive decision to sacrifice these trees. Um, I think if we do this correctly, we might might be able to actually irrigate a pretty sizable amount. But this would require, uh, to do this 3x3 three three would require 9 of our... Uh, Nine of our explosives, and that's the only the only units we're going to have at all for the next 18.6 days at least. Is is it really too far to go over? I mean, yeah, it almost certainly is. So it, it probably is actually going to be faster for us to uh, to get, the, get this bad water rig. Okay, I... Uh, I mean, I have I have pine resin, I have treated planks, I have wow, actually a decent amount of power from these windmills. I'm pretty surprised. So maybe, maybe. See, I I wish I could remember my stream of consciousness when I go back to uh, export these videos. I've I've got to record this one. I don't know, ten hours before I'm going to edit it because I got some stuff to do later today. But this is the perfect application of the what was it that Jim Carrey Jim Carrey meme? So you're telling me there is a chance? They're like, yes, I am telling you there's a chance. We'll see. Oh, there's so so many so many possible memes in this episode. But I digress. Uh, I think I think our our move is going to be to put in uh, all of our all of our eggs in this one basket. Given how the distribution of water currently is looking with this and this, uh, if crops are kept alive, if most of the crops are kept alive, we're going to be okay. We can replant the rest, uh, losing, uh, well, it's, it's going to lose a lot more, a lot more trees than these guys if and when this dries up. This should, should have a decent bit of water retained at the end of the drought, but uh, all of these chestnut trees are going to be dead. These maple trees will most likely survive. Uh, fortunately, chestnuts are not really a mission critical food. It just really sucks to lose these because they are, uh, they're going to last a long while. Otherwise, I just can't decide because I know the tree farm is going to be very important strategically long term. And these these trees being over half grown is going to be a real shame to lose those. We can cut down the dead trees, but that will only give us four logs per. And we could if we choose to uh, replace this with stairs, which we honestly probably need to do. 
uh, might be in okay shape, but I'm not going to be able to detonate this to uh, make it easier. I, I think strategically long term, the best option is to irrigate the oak trees. So I, I'm going to I'm going to commit to this. We're, we're going to see what happens here. They do still have a few more days left. Um, I just really hope they're not going to go waste the uh, <laughs> waste the dynamite anywhere else. We sure are making it, though. We're making as um, as much as we can. Okay, triple dynamites. Let's um. Oh, if I, if I have to have one that comes in later, it should be. Uh, it should be this one of the center. So let's do. Let's just do these eight for now, because I'm pretty sure I can get at least eight. If I get the ninth, that would be a nice bonus. In fact, if I get the ninth, I might, I might mess around and put it here. I might, I might do that. We'll, uh, we'll see. We do, we do still have a decent bit here. We'll, we'll see what happens. But the idea here is that I'm going to, well, since at this point it really, really should not be a discussion of the best usage of space if we're trying to keep these trees alive. But I'm going to put the dump here so that this is complete three by three. And that should irrigate, you know, it, I don't know, at least a third of these trees that are still here. So let's put that here. Okay, this is ready. So dynamite away we go. Fluid dump here. Now I'm seeing I'm seeing five explosives. Are we are we finished here? Let's pause. I know it's probably irritating, but we're gonna get through it. Oh man, I got four out of twenty-five bad water. That hurts. Okay, so th these are these are actually done. Let's pause these. If there's actually nothing else we can do here, pause that. Um, we have we have a decent bit of extract, which is nice. Too bad we can't really use it for anything else, but. 2.8 days, 3.6 days, 3.8 days. So we, we do have some time if we want to. I'm just so curious. I think we leave this like it is uh, just for right now. Oh, it's it's going to be a real shame when these all die. because They take a long time to grow as well. Okay. So I, I know this is going to work. I know that's going to be okay. Um, that can go away. That can go away. We we wanted to redo the timing on those anyway, so I guess that's not really going to be that big of a uh, that big of a concern. So I have five. I I know. I'm sorry. I I just I have to pause and think. I will make it up to you somehow. I don't really know how, but <laughs> we're we're gonna try our best. Man, evaporation sure is something, huh? This this is good. This works. That's fine. I wanted to put in Alito here. I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use two of our five remaining dynamite to do it. That that can be a next episode thing. Remind me in the comments to do that. But um, I think yeah, I think our best option for now is going to be uh, triple dynamiting. I'm just going to do. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do three. Or I guess I should just go straight out this way. I'll do five in a row. That should should keep at least some of these trees alive. It's not going to be all of them. But if I do five in a row, then I can still get back behind stuff and I can put the dump on this tile. I, th I think that's going to make the most sense. Uh, if you have a different strategy that you think would be better, please let me know in the comments uh, your opinions on that. And we'll we'll see what happens next time when we, uh, when we get around to uh, reading everything. But let's uh, let's do it. Let's make the most out of this. See what we can uh, what we can do to salvage the remnants of uh, what we have going on here. Uh, I am also going to put in a dump here, uh, just because we don't seem to be having a problem with our water supply. Just want to make sure that we have this nice and filled up. All right, give me two more here, one more here. Put that thing in. Are we are we done? Okay. All right, that problem is solved. Nice deep hole there. Get rid of the path and put in the dump. And let's see what happens. Uh, I'm also going to turn the wood workshop back on. Smelter off. Obviously, we can't even get to the stuff right now. 
Uh, gear workshops on, or one of them on. I think I think this is going to work. All right, bootless opossum uh, saving us over here. Who's saving us over here? Beans Universe. Look at this. Okay. All right. So this is actually uh, actually looking okay here. Some of the, some of these trees are going to die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Man, if if I had the time to just put in memes every time I referenced one, you guys would either love these videos, you'd absolutely hate them, but I think it would be funny. Maybe someday if I can hire somebody to edit these, but I don't know. Part of the charm is that these aren't edited, I think. Don't need to stray too far from that. But if we can if we can fill this up, I think we'll be in decent shape. This is looking okay. Um, we're making treated planks very slowly. Three hours to make one. How many do we need for the bad, uh, bad water rig? 200. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we can do since we have so many of these other, other things available here. We can build. Oh, that's going to actually take a decent bit of resources, but we probably want to have another one of these anyway. Yeah, we want to make that happen. We, we do, again, we have plenty. We have plenty of pine resin. Uh, we're not short on wood yet. Okay, this saved our chestnuts. And it's not completely full, so we might get these too. Although in 0.8 days uh, time left, I... Oh, 0.5. Yikes. All right, bootless. Let's get to work. I need you, I need you to get here early today. And <laughs> try, try to save this one chestnut tree. Okay, it's not going to happen. We're not we're not going to get there. That's a shame. But it'll get replanted when the ground gets irrigated. That's just Oh man, that is just such a waste. This is almost full too, so maybe it doesn't actually uh wasn't actually going to reach. No, it wasn't. Okay. So it's not going to get these either. Well, all right. You know, I can't really be that upset about it cuz we did manage to save a pretty good amount of these trees. Let's um let's cut down these dead ones. I don't even think I have a uh Yeah, I don't have a lumberjack over here. But I mean, we can use the wood. There's no sense wasting the wood. Well, it wasn't going to get wasted anyway. But let's um yeah, that's going to work if I put that there. I am very impressed with the amount of uh, irrigation that this three by three provides. It's just, man, I, I miss the, I miss this so much. The one by one hole. <laughs> that is, oh man, that was just such a, such an easy set it and forget it, Ron Popeil thing. That's a reference. I'm pretty sure most of the younger people aren't going to get, but I have access to this analytics, and I know there's enough of you in the forty plus range that absolutely will understand what that's talking about. So, we've got treated planks being made. I have a total storage of 180, I guess. Oh, plus what I can put in here, which would give us up to 200. Okay, so now that's dried up. That's really unfortunate. But we are going to save a decent bit of the berries and a couple of dandelions, so I guess we can't be mad about that. This is working about as well as I could have expected. That's working about as well as I could expect. Uh, farm stuff looks okay. This still has plenty of water in it. I think we're going to be okay. It's definitely, uh, definitely a little bit of suffering, but, uh, I don't know, what would one of my videos be without the weeping and gnashing of teeth, huh? That's <laughs> come to be expected these days. So, 13 days left in the drought. There honestly isn't that much more we can do. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a time lapse here and we're going to see if we can get the resources and the science to uh, build ourselves a bad water rig. We do have the metal. We have the capacity to make the gears. We have the capacity to make the treated planks. The science is going to be the X factor here because we have six of these, but they're currently not... Um, currently not set up to all be running at the same time so I think what we're gonna do what we're gonna have to do is 
what we're going to have to do is mute the microphone so I can sneeze and not blow your eardrums out. But uh, we're going to have to reprioritize our our jobs here. So I think um, planks wise, I mean, the plank storage is actually full. So if we uh, if we pause these two fluid dumps, that'll give us two more beavers, which should have these completely filled up. Uh, this is not going to evaporate enough in 12 days to kill trees. So that should be okay. Now we just have to wait. Just make sure we have... We're going to have enough storage if it's completely full. And we can also, you know, start construction as soon as we have the science. But one of these... Oh, nobody's in here. Okay. Um, lowest priority on these foresters. And that probably should have already been a thing. To a lowest priority those. And then I will just move... Mmm, please let me mute individual building sounds. I am begging you. This is this is no longer a request. Th this is actually, actually begging to uh, please stop this. Okay, blank storage here. I guess I shouldn't get rid of that. Um, yeah, I'll put two more of these in. Uh, if we have our builder's hut can be lowest priority. Hauling post probably shouldn't be lowest priority, so I will leave it alone. And then, oh, I just said I wasn't going to move these around, but that's fine, I guess. For lack of something better to do, uh, we might as well just put a bunch of these down. Try to rush it, see what happens. Uh, anything else I can unman? Oh, absolutely, I can, I can pause that lumberjack flag for sure. Um, we can maybe not pause it, just make it a lowest priority. That's paused. This can be lowest priority. All right, so we're going to have, what is this going to be? 11? 11 of these inventors? All right. Let's see what these guys can accomplish. If we can actually get ourselves to 400, 400 gears. We have the storage for it. We have eh, technically the storage for the tree planks. So let's time lapse the rest of this thing, because literally, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> we're, we're we're kind of in crisis management mode, and uh, don't don't really have the room to expand or build anything. I, I real we really we have to have bad water to make it any further than where we are right now. So I will see you on the other side of this thing. All right, and here we are, day twenty seven. We finally have our 4,000 signs. We don't have the resources to build the bad water rig yet. Should have known that wasn't going to happen, but hey, figured we would try at the very least. So let's come out of triple speed and pause, I know, again, uh, to take a look at where we are. Uh, this has held up surprisingly well. I, I did pause, I'm sure you saw during the time lapse, I did pause this large water pump because, well, we didn't really need that much water. I'm going to unpause it now because I, I wanted to keep water in here so that the rest of these crops wouldn't die on the far edge. That seems to no longer be that much of a problem. Um, everything else has done well except this one this one strip of these, uh, these maple trees. So I will mark these for cutting, along with the rest of everything else going on here. And we'll take care of these. Uh, unmark these for cutting once everything else is taken care of. Uh, but we will we will take advantage of the wood. And as we enter the next uh, wet cycle, I guess, we'll be able to take care of everything else. But before we do that, we do have the science. So I want to go ahead and unlock the bad water rig. And I've never messed with this before, so I don't exactly know. Oh, this is a this is kind of a big boy, huh? All right. So what's going to have to happen is I'm not going to replace this guy. This is already here, but I'm going to put this on this side. Um, it's got to be built directly on the ground. The problem we're going to run into is that this will cause beavers to be, uh, shall we say, infected <laughs> once they, uh, once they get access to come over here. So we're going to have to build two of these before the first one's going to be usable, but it's important enough that we start building this now. It's not going to take us that long to build the second one once this one's in place. So we'll put that there, but we do not, under any circumstances, want beavers to be able to walk down here. So we're going to have to build ourselves a, uh, I guess I'll just do it, uh, do it this way, a little walkway here. 
so that they can drop items into the building site without actually entering the building site. Because uh, this will start spouting again. That'll be fine. And uh, we can pump out of here. But uh, we, we do not want the beavers to become contaminated because, well, that would be terrible. So that's solved. Oh, it wasn't paused. I had actually unpaused it. Oh, well. Uh, and another problem we ran into is the uh, grist mill does not have a place to put any wheat flour. I thought I'd taken care of that last time, but I suppose I had not. So that was massively ignorant of me to, uh, <laughs> to not notice that. And that's going to cause us some issues here. Because, uh, well, I guess I could just go ahead and research the uh, bakery. Uh, I don't really have anywhere to put it. But uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, I do want to put the Lido here, so we're not going to do we're not going to do that. This probably should be kind of close to uh, what we have going on here. So maybe, maybe since we have the uh, we have the technology here, maybe what we do, maybe what we do, is one of these numbers here. Put it on platforms. Watch me forget where the doorway actually. Yep, doorway goes on the other side. Not enough science points. Okay, I guess we're not. Uh, we're not quite there, not quite there, but we'll all go ahead and get this set up anyway. And the rest of this is fine as it is, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, this here. Nope, nope, no, nope. I want the single. There we go. Put that there, and then in front of this, we will put a storage for... Uh, probably more important to have storage for bread than it is to have storage for the uh, the flour, at least right here. But that's going to make it possible for us to get the rest of this done. All right, bakery. Yes, unlock, build here. All right, so this is now kind of a secondary project. Um, they're they're going to work on it when they can work on it, and that's that's fine. And we're going to manage to escape. We are going to manage to escape the drought without any beavers as far as i can tell dying of starvation or thirst that is such a nice graphic i love that cycle 18 begins and with cycle 18 beginning so episode 8 ends and you know didn't end up being as bad as i thought it would look make no mistake this is this is still like pretty catastrophic to like the, the, the progress that we'd been making we had to devote uh, a lot of a, a drought cycle to just time lapsing to try to recover resources and make more to uh, make it possible for us to continue to do other things. But all in all, I think we could be decently satisfied given the conditions of uh, what uh, what transpired with this update. But we managed to save our farm, save uh, most of the trees, and this is uh, acceptable. I guess we could say not really that happy with how this is currently looking, but uh, we will definitely, definitely have to get there. So next time, don't let me forget in the comments, we have to put in the Lido. We have to expand this out a little bit and we've got to get more of this area irrigated. I'm glad we're able to save this much of the trees though. That's good. And these berries and the dandelions and everything that was going to be rough if those were gone, but that's going to help us out a whole lot. Uh, obviously, the solution to our uh, dynamite production is not really not really too great right now. But the bad water pump is now back in action. We can start making that stuff again, and I can uh, I can put these inventors. Actually, we're going to go ahead. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just deprioritize a lot out of the inventors here. Have these guys go do literally anything else. <laughs> Not that there's uh, that many more anyway that we can make use of. But uh, yeah, could have been worse. Also could have been a whole lot better, but it is what it is. We're going to uh, do the best we can with what we have because, you know, it's really the only option we've got, right? So now we just have to wait. Uh, I'm going to let them accrue some bad water before I turn this stuff back on. Uh, our primary focus right now is still making the uh, stuff to make the rig. Um, and again, we're not going to be able to use one of them until we can use both. So we do also have to get back up here. 
Uh, I'm going to hold off on reconnecting this for the time being because I'm hopeful that by the next time we record an episode of this, all the mods will be fixed and I can uh, have the ladders back again. You never know how much, how much you miss those until you don't have them. But, uh, yep, we made uh, we made some lemonade out of some lemons today. I think we can be pretty proud of that, uh, even if uh, the overreaction at the beginning was what it was. It wasn't that much of an overreaction, though, let's be honest. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I really appreciate you watching, uh, and I really, really hope that you enjoyed, or at the very least were entertained by my uh, temporary misery here. But all, all joking aside, we, we do have a very fun time playing this game and making these videos. By we, I mean me, myself, and I. I guess I have multiple personalities now. That's fine. But, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get everything sorted out in the next episode, hopefully, and uh, we'll be better off for it. So, again... Thanks for being you. Thanks, Beard Boosters, for all of your fantastic support. Really appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you just the same, even if you're not part of that. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we'll look forward to seeing you back tomorrow for some Water Beavers. And then on Thursday for the next episode of our Iron Teeth playthrough, hopefully, hopefully uh, the mods are fixed by then so that playthrough doesn't completely fall apart because I've got a lot a lot of stuff riding on mods and we're gonna have to figure out our irrigation for that as well but uh that is quite enough of your time on this uh on this tuesday so stay safe have fun and we'll see you in the next one Bye bye